Hello, everyone. What's your closing ratio in signing up new team members? Are you a seven out of 10? If you are, that's just amazing. But if you're finding that you struggle to close prospects, then in this video, you'll learn how to practice overcoming objections so you improve your closing ratio. I'm Gail Bates, and on this channel, I'm here to support you in having high sales, getting those consistent bookings, and recruiting a strong team of business builders. I want you to benefit from my experience with planning strategies and the systems that I developed to grow a million-dollar team and a strong direct sales business. So if you do have a minute, I would love you to hit that subscribe button so I can keep sharing value with you. So how much do you want to grow your team this year? Think about it. My number one goal was to have the highest personal recruits in my company. And the way I did that was to get really good at overcoming objections when I was presenting my opportunity. So what are objections? Well, I believe they're simply unanswered questions or they are concerns that people have because they need more information. So closing prospects to me was all about understanding how to overcome these objections. And of course, being a professional in sharing the right information that would encourage them to join now. So today I want to go through a few of those objections with you. The first objection that usually comes up is I don't have the money, which usually is the money for the kit. And I said, as I said, when you get an objection, you want to ask yourself, is this person need more information? Or have I explained the cost of the kit thoroughly? Or maybe this is an excuse that they don't want to join. So it's important that you offer a solution like, well, if you really want to join, don't let the money stop you. We have ways for you to get the money for the kid. If it's the money, what we'll do is we'll just pick a date that works for you and I'll help you get started so you can make money. You have now given her a solution and then it's up to her to make a decision. So be prepared for this objection because it happens probably seven out of 10 times. Now, another objection you hear is, I just don't have time for this. Again, she's concerned because time is a big factor for her. And what is it? She needs more information on how she would fit this business into her life. So saying something like, I'm so glad you shared that with me. I know exactly how you feel. We'll do a little exercise to determine how much time you would have available to grow a business and earn the money you want. Then we'll determine a certain that what works for you is a certain amount of hours. And with my help, I'll share a business plan that fits into your busy lifestyle. If that help, if I, we could do all that, would you be interested in hearing more? So if they see the potential, which you've given them a solution in working a specific number of hours per week and earning a certain amount of income, they will be willing to go further. If not, then time is an excuse for them and they're really not interested. I'm not a salesperson objection comes up quite a lot. I love to answer this objection with, well, I'm so glad you said that. I thought I'd have to be some big hotshot salesperson too when I first joined. But I found that our company gives us the tools to share our products. Think about it. I didn't have to sell you at the party we had together. I shared with you my products in my demonstration and you were ready to buy. So now you've handled this objection, you want to move forward with, let's just complete the application and get you started. And we'll see if she's ready to join, if that's enough information for her to have. Now, another big objection is I need to think about it, or I think I need to do more research. Now, this is the detailed person who needs to have all the answers before she's ready to join. Again, she needs more information before she is ready to make that decision. So simply agree with her and say, I'd love to help you with that. Would you share with me exactly what more information you need? This is what I call is getting the zinger out and you'll find exactly what she's worried about and you will address it and move forward. Sometimes the pyramid scheme objection comes up in our business. Not so much nowadays, but it was a very big objection a few years ago. So your prospect may have had a bad experience in another direct sales company or been approached by someone who really wasn't professional. So when I get this objection, I always would say pyramid schemes are illegal. 
And our company is a bona fide legal entity that's been in business for how many years it's been in business, right? But I do understand your hesitation if you've had a bad experience. I guess the key here is really don't be defensive. Maybe this person is not ready for network marketing or direct sales. So it's time to just let her go and move on to the next prospect if that is the case. Otherwise, if you've answered the question correctly, they will be ready to join. Then the spouse objection comes up. Again, you think, is this an excuse or is it real? And one of the things I loved when this objection came out was to book a time with her and her spouse together. So the spouse knew exactly how the business plan worked. And many times men really got excited about the earning potential. So if they're willing to share the opportunity with their spouse, they are interested. If they aren't, then you'll determine this is an excuse and move on to the next person. And lastly, there's always the objection. This is great, but it's just not for me. I love this objection. And you don't want to let it go and say, oh, okay, I'm so glad that you. I was able to share it with you. But what I needed to find when someone said this was the real reason why they were hesitant in joining by saying it's not for me. So again, I would say maybe this isn't for you. Okay, just really affirm that. But what exactly do you mean? So I'm getting, again, getting the zinger out here. This could be someone who needs to see the big picture or needs more detail on the comp plan. Usually the reason will appear. It'll just pop up. And if it's not for them, you simply ask for a referral and move on to the next person. So after going through these objections, I hope you feel more confident in overcoming the concerns that many people have before joining a direct sales company. We all had concerns before we joined ourselves, right? But your job is to practice overcoming these objections. And when you do, you're going to find you'll improve your closing ratio and become a top recruiter because practice makes perfect. As I said, I had this goal to have the most recruits in my company, personal recruits in my company. And I did it because I practiced overcoming these objections. So if you found value in this video, I'd love it if you would share it with your team and be ready to onboard your next new recruits with my online course on how to fast start new business builders. The link is below and I'll see you on the next video.